I'd like to begin the series of instructions with those words of the Buddha from the Satipatthana Sutta, that is the Discourse on the Foundations of Mindfulness, the basic set of instructions that we follow in Vipassana practice. And the Sutta is amazingly thorough and complete in describing how to practice mindfulness meditation. What we should be mindful of and how we should hold and understand these experiences with wisdom. After the opening paragraph of the discourse where the Buddha declares this is the direct way to awakening, this is the direct way to enlightenment, (coughs) namely the four foundations of mindfulness, the very first set of instructions he gives in the discourse is mindfulness of breathing. Over the years of my practice, I heard many instructions and read a lot of the teachings. And finally, over the years, with the wisdom of age, I thought it might be a good idea to actually follow what the Buddha said. (laughs) So I've become more Uh, interested in just seeing the very specific set of instructions the Buddha gave in how to watch the breath, how to feel the breath. So I'll go over those uh, in brief this morning. And you can begin to get a feel for it, get a sense of it, and begin to at least get some idea of the tremendous richness and nuance of working with an object as simple as the breath. I mean, just this could take us the entire way to enlightenment. So it's a powerful set of instructions. There are basically four steps the Buddha laid out. And through the sitting, (coughs) We'll start just with the first one, and then through the sitting, I'll guide you through the other three. And if there are questions afterwards, we can discuss it a bit. One of the very key elements in having the mind settle, becoming mindful, becoming more concentrated, is relaxing. It's not from tightening, it's not from grabbing on to an object. It's actually, as Annie was indicating last night, concentration itself comes from letting go, from settling back in steadiness. And that itself is an art. We need to learn how to relax back. So as a way of beginning, just feel the body sitting. You might do a quick scan, either starting from the top of the head and going down, or starting from the legs and going up, go up and down. Just get a sense of feeling your body sitting, feeling the posture. Settling into your seat, settling back into it. So your back is well supported without being tense. And quite importantly, and something to remember throughout the sitting, (coughs) is to relax the eyes. Because we often unnecessarily tense the eyes in an effort to be mindful. 
we engage the eyes in a way that's unnecessary. Just for a moment, experience a softening of the eyes, relaxing, and remembering to check in with that throughout the sitting. So we're firm in our seat. The spine and back well supported by the cushion, by the chair. The eyes are soft. Soften the jaw so we're not clenching in any way. Soften the throat and the shoulders. Soften the chest. Doing a quick scan up and down the body in this place of relative relaxation, of ease. The very first instruction the Buddha gives with regard to the breath, he says, ever mindful, one breathes in. Ever mindful, one breathes out. It's quite a general instruction. Staying relaxed, staying open. Ever mindful, one breathes in. Ever mindful, one breathes out. Keep it that simple. No straining, no struggling. We are breathing anyway. Breathing in, (coughs) simply know you're breathing in. (coughs) Breathing out, simply know you're breathing out. No forcing, no hurrying of the breath. Let it come in its own time, its own rhythm. If there's a space between the out breath and the next in breath, simply be aware of the whole body sitting until the next in breath comes by itself. So you're not forcing, you're not rushing it. Breathing is the most natural process in the world. We can relax into it, just as it is.
notice any tendency to struggle, to want, to hold on to, and then relax. Relax back into the body, relax the eyes. The breathing is happening all by itself. So it's simply to be aware, to be mindful. Have a mindful one breathes in, have a mindful one breathes out. In this relaxed, open, easefulness of awareness, we might begin to notice that no two breaths are exactly the same. This is the basis for the Buddha's next set of instructions. Breathing in long, one understands I breathe in long. Breathing out long, one understands I breathe out long. Breathing in short, one understands I breathe in short. Breathing out short, one understands I breathe out short. So this is a simple refinement of our understanding of how the breath is happening. So that simple understanding or recognition with each in-breath, with each out-breath. Is it relatively long, relatively short? It's not to make it long or short. It's simply to recognize with each breath how it is. You don't have to measure the breath. There's no absolute long or short in this instruction. It's just the general sense. Is it relatively long? Is it relatively short? You could even add to the Buddha's instruction, medium. In order to know whether the breath is long or short, we simply need to be present. Staying relaxed, open, letting the breath come and go in its own time. With each in-breath and out-breath, simply understand or simply know. 
This is a relatively long one, a relatively short one. It keeps changing. If for whatever reason the mind gets a little tired of noticing whether it's long or short, go back to the first instruction. Ever mindful one breathes in, ever mindful one breathes out. Again, relaxing the mind, opening to the natural process of the breathing. Relaxing the eyes, the throat, (coughs) relaxing the heart and the belly. Breath is coming and going by itself. We begin with the awareness that we're breathing in or breathing out. In the second step, we refine our understanding a bit more. Understanding with each breath, whether it's on the long side or the short side. And in the third step of the instructions, The Buddha adds a little intentionality to the practice. He says, one trains thus, I shall experience, shall breathe in experiencing the whole body. So there's that sense of just the slight intentionality of training. 
an intention to breathe in, experiencing the whole body. This has been interpreted in two ways. It's breathing in, experiencing the breath through the whole body. And it's been interpreted as the whole body of the breath. So I breathe in experiencing the whole body of the breath, that is, from the very beginning through the middle to the end of the breath. So you can experiment with both of those ways. We train thus. I shall breathe in experiencing the whole body. feeling the breath throughout the whole body, or feeling the whole body of the breath. One trains thus, I shall breathe out, experiencing the whole body. The art of the practice here is to feel, to experience the whole breath body without forcing, without tightening, keeping the mind and body relaxed. It's not a holding to the breath. It's a letting go. And being steady with it. Letting the breath breathe itself. The Buddha's words are interesting here. He talks about training. One trains thus. He talks about setting the intention in the mind. I shall breathe in, experiencing the whole body. 
we set the intention, I shall breathe out, experiencing the whole body. And again, it could be the body of the breath, feeling the whole breath. Or it could be the breath throughout the body. See which you connect with more easily. With all of these instructions, simply being mindful, you're breathing in and out, understanding whether each in and out breath is long or short, training to experience the whole breath, or the breath in the whole body. Can you do each of these with a mind and heart that's relaxed, settled back, open. Simply letting the breath appear as it does, without forcing, without trying. The breath is a natural process. The body knows how to breathe. And we're simply feeling it as it does breathe.
In the last set of instructions the Buddha gave on breathing, he said, one trains thus, I shall breathe in tranquilizing the body formations. Breathing out, I shall tranquilize the body formations. Body formations could mean the body of the breath, that is, we breathe in, calming the breath. We breathe out, calming the breath. Or it could mean calming the entire body. Breathing in, calming the body. Breathing out, calming the body. Again, this is an intention of training. One trains thus, I shall do this. So we set that gentle intention. As you breathe in, you might use a phrase to help guide the mind in this instruction. So as you breathe in, you might say in the mind, breathing in, calming, breathing out, calming, was simply to use the word calm, calm the body, calm the breath. It's a reminder. Notice what happens as you do this.
Relax the eyes, relax the body. It's not about wanting or holding on. It's about settling back. The whole breathing process is happening by itself. Just allow its natural process. If the mind feels like it's struggling or wanting or confused, Simply come back to the very first step of breathing in and know you're breathing in. Breathing out, know you're breathing out. You can keep it that simple. <laughs> 